Hey, this is YBR with Beam and G Drive, and today we're going to be doing part two of the Mad Mod video. But before we do anything, I just want to move this vehicle out of the little shack that you spawn in. So part two is the D series, Romer, T series, and H series. Hopefully, we'll get them all done. Maybe there'll be a part three. I don't know. But anyways, for the D series, we have the Avalanche, Recon Pickup, and Assault Pickup. We're just going to go through the list, starting with the Avalanche. This one's only available in one color, but the other ones have multiple color options. Now this thing has a big old ram in the front, and I think we need some targets, so we're going to grab just some junk cars, you know, whatever, Bishu Corvette, sure, and we're going to teleport it a bit away, and then I'll ram into it, so we'll put it all the way down to like right there, and we'll get one more junk car to put somewhere else, but I'm keeping them light, so we're going to go with an Bishu Miramar, both of these cars are pretty lightweight, so they should be able to be plowed through pretty easily, and we'll just put this one about here. Real simple plan, we get up to speed, we bash through the cars, hopefully we have enough speed to bash through both of them. And I'm going to do one thing a little weird. I'm going to go off the course right here so I can kind of line my truck up in a straight line with both of the vehicles instead of trying to steer and crash at the same time. So you see, I crash into them, and I'm already pretty much aligned for the blue car right there. We still got about 50 miles per hour of momentum here, so we should have more than enough speed to plow through both of these dudes. So, yep, out of the way. You can't hold my truck back. Although I think I'm going to fly off the road a little bit because we're going so fast. I thought we'd lose a little bit more speed. Alright, we'll go full speed right here and try to get back on the road. Stop following me! Oh, he's trying to get revenge. He hit me in the door. So aside from uh, my door being a little crumpled right there, there's like no damage on this thing. Oh wait, if you look at the hood, <laughs> if you really zoom in, it's a little bit lifted and that's it. This thing plowed through those cars like they were not even there. That is amazing. I want to go for round two kind of after seeing that. And round two means we need more cars, so <laughs> let's do that. We're going to set up round two on the paved road, though. That way I could really go boom, 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 boom into the cars. And for now, we're just going to grab the ones we already crashed into and teleport them over, and then we'll spawn up a couple more. So I'll put this one right there. And why not crash into the damaged ones? <laughs> I see no reason not to. It'll make it even more cooler looking, probably. So cars one and two are right there. And since it went great through the light cars... We can even get some cars that are a little bit heavier. We'll get some uh, bigger American cars. I think this thing weighs almost two tons. I mean, I could have read it and it would tell me, oh, this car weighs like, you know, so many pounds, but I'm too excited to see the crash. I just click, 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 you know? So there we go. We'll set them there. And then we'll get an ETKK series, which weighs about one and three quarters tons or 3,500 pounds. So we're going to spawn this up and then we're just going to line it up and save the position just in case anything goes wrong. Then we'll go to my truck. Oh, well, that's nice. I didn't even have to cycle through the vehicles. It was just, here's the truck. So I want to get a little bit more speed this time. So we're going to back it up. Maybe to about that uh, broken billboard we see behind me. And oh, goodness, I don't want to roll over. Let's just go. <laughs> let's go normally. I felt the truck starting to kind of steer wonky. So I'm just like, you know what? Let's not even take the risk. All right, so here we are. Let me do a quick 180. And we're going to charge at those cars. Hopefully, we'll be going like 60, 70 miles per hour, at least from this distance, I would think. This thing has the power. It has the durability, probably. Let's find out. So, crash test number two. We're going to go 80 miles per hour into just a row of cars. I'm going to put eight times slow on number one. Light car out of the way. Oh, no. It's popping me in the air. <laughs> this is not how I envisioned this going, but it's just as amazing. That is what I envisioned, so I have no complaints here. Oh no, we're gonna roll! And through this whole thing, the truck really didn't get that damage until it started to roll. Like, bouncing over the cars and stuff, it didn't get that much damage. Actually, even if we put this thing upright, it doesn't even look like it got that damage. This thing is indestructible! Okay, the tires popped, yeah. <laughs> but that's about it! Like, can we go for another run? I'm pretty sure we can! Uh, just barely like I can't keep it in a straight line easy because of the pop tire But the actual vehicle itself seems like it's doing perfectly fine So I reset all of these cars and two of them are pointing in the wrong direction. I'll have to fix that real quickly So I'll just spin my covet Stop it right there. And we'll do the same for the Miramar And then we're ready for round two. See I didn't get to save these ones locations because I was uh, Leaving them in their damaged state and if I wanted to save them at this angle then they would be undamaged and you would lose a little bit of the fun <laughs> look at this thing parking brake on it still accelerates like it don't care 
Okay, so we won't be going quite as fast this time, so hopefully we don't pop into the air. Because it looked cool, but that was not the goal. So trying to keep it straight the best that I can. And this time we're going to try to watch it from, uh... Well, you know, let's do the dramatic camera angle again, because I like watching it from those kind of camera angles. So we'll go like... We'll actually bring it all the way back and then just have a stationary camera as it goes through all of them. Like right here, that looks perfect. Car number one, out the way! Car number two, out the way! Out of the way! Ha <laughs> That's what I envisioned the first one going like. That was great! And again, somehow, like, it just goes straight through those cars and it could probably keep on driving if you wanted to. Yeah. Unbelievable! It just... Cars in the way, doesn't care. Okay, coolant overheating. What? It's been through a dozen crashes and now the coolant finally overheats? That's what it takes to slow it down? I mean, you look at this thing. And the actual damage to the front body where you're bashing into cars non-stop is so minimal. I mean, you got a little bit of fender bend, a little bit of hood bend. That's it. This thing is crazy strong. Although I do think we need a new one though because it is getting kind of difficult to drive. So we're going to spawn up a new one. And before I do the next collision, let me just go over the custom parts on this thing. So you have the ram, of course. And then you have the piece that attaches to the top of the car like that, which I guess just gives a little bit more strength to the vehicle when you ram through things and then you have the grates on the windows otherwise every other part is a stock part this is like a d35 beast made beast er it also has the road maintenance decals on it but they're really scratched out so you could tell like maybe this was at one time a road maintenance vehicle but it don't do that no more well, this thing is a destroyer it doesn't do any sort of maintenance so let's go ahead and respawn all these guys and then swap them out for something heavier for the Miramar, I'm thinking let's swap it for an 8 Series. 8 Series are pretty heavy. That's uh, 5,291 pounds. Quite a bit heavier. And then for this one, we'll also get a little bit heavier of a vehicle. We'll go with a D35 V8 Crew Cab, which I guess that's what the vehicle is actually based on, but everybody knows the beast if you watch my videos because I use that thing a lot. And then at the end of this thing, we're going T Series. We're going to put a big old T Series, which is 7 tons. I don't know if we'll be able to get through this, to be honest. And then for the first car, we'll keep it a little bit easier. We'll go with just, just, I know it sounds funny to say, we'll go with just a Roamer, which is only 5,000 pounds. That's it. So here we go. Let's really plow through these dudes. Come on. I believe in you. I believe in you. Car number one shouldn't be an issue. Out of the way. Radiator damage. That's okay. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Oh no, I'm stopping, I'm stopping, I'm stopping, I'm stopping. My tire got deflated. All right, that is too much weight. That is too much weight. But I am genuinely curious how this thing would fare if you just faced off against just the T-Series. So I'm going to just drive all these guys out of the way real quickly and then see what happens with T-Series versus this thing. We're going to just drive into the side of it. Nothing crazy here. See, this is why the video might be three parts because I've already been playing with this thing for almost 10 minutes here but it's fun when you got a ramp to slam things because the problem was I was thinking how am I gonna fit all this into just two videos it might be three so here we go come on all right that actually damaged it that actually damaged it when you go into a target that's like double your weight you will damage it but it still has 30 miles per hour of momentum after collision and it's pretty drivable like look I'm not steering at all it's going nice and straight, and uh, we still got steering capabilities here. Look, left, right, looks perfectly fine. So we really did just plow through a T-Series. I've never seen a vehicle plow through a T-Series that looks so normal. Like, I, I can get, like, the tank-looking things to plow through a T-Series, but never a thing that's based on a pickup truck. That is crazy. I mean, it's up to 120 miles per hour through rough terrain right here. It doesn't matter, although the engine is overheating because the impact damaged the radiator, so... We're gonna just have to let this thing get wrecked up right here. Nice roll to it though. I think it's about time though we actually go to the next truck in the list. So let's bring this back and the next one isn't quite as amazing. It's still cool, but it's not as amazing as the Avalanche. It's the Recon Pickup and it's available in brown, green, and gray. I'm gonna go with green here because that looks to me like the best color on the car. It has like that military vibe to it. So it says army on the top. And if you look in here, there's actually like a roll cage in there, and it's just a soft top over it, so nobody knows just how strong that'll be. And then on the front, we have the same setup as the Avalanche. 
So let's just put two cars in harm's way and see if it can plow through them because they are pretty heavy. And this thing isn't as strong as the avalanche, so I don't expect it to be able to plow through as many vehicles as it did. So we're going to try to go right in the middle of the road, which will hopefully hit the rear of the H series and then the front of the D series. So boom, out the way, boom, and oh, popping a wheelie, popping a wheelie. Come on, level yourself. There we go. We got a little bit of radiator damage there and oh, a little bit of side damage as well because we were popped into the air. But overall, the amount of damage to this thing is not that significant. We got a little bit of uh, fender and hood damage just like you saw on the avalanche, but it still will just chug along without a care in the world going 80 miles per hour right here. Rough terrain, doesn't matter. Right here, look at this rough terrain, it don't care. Although it is a little bit damaged from the suspension, I think from when I slid out of control and slammed into a building. Now we're going 100 miles per hour through rough terrain. The radiator is unfortunately damaged, so we're going to overheat soon. So let's just try to get this thing to flip or not. I wanted it to flip over. It said, no, nah, I'm not going to flip. All right, we're going to climb a mountain then while the vehicle overheats. We're going to push it that hard. We're going to say, yeah, you're overheating, but you're going to climb that mountain because you didn't want to roll over on me. So we're going to make you work. Whoop, oh, whoop, 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 come on, come on. You almost got it, you almost got it. Get a little traction, get a little traction, and yeah, you made it. Is there anywhere else I can really climb? Not really. One of the things I do like about this though that I didn't mention earlier is that in the stock vehicles, there's no single cab dually like this one. All the duallys are like extended bed, quadruple cab kind of stuff. This one is just one cab small bed dually setup which is cool and i think we've actually just killed it because it's gonna roll upside down and then it's gonna roll upright and then it's gonna probably no, it's gonna actually stay upright but i'm kind of bored over here so let's just reset it and i don't think we need to plow through a lot of vehicles with this because it has the same plow design that you saw in the avalanche just a little bit smaller of a vehicle so we're gonna go to the next one which is the assault pickup and this one we're gonna get it in brown because you know mix and match the colors a little bit so this one is pretty similar to the one we were just driving, but instead of a kind of tarp area right here, we got some rockets attached. And you know what the best part is? You can actually fire those rockets. I don't have a target lined up at the moment, but we're gonna just save this spot so I can consistently shoot in this area. And then if you hit T, Y, G, and H, it fires the rocket. So T, Y, G, H. And it just shoots the rockets, they fly off, and they will damage up some vehicles. I don't think any of the damage here was from the rockets. They were just near where the rockets landed. So we're going to reset this. And I saw about roughly where the rockets were landing. So I'm going to try to line up this H series in that area. So we're just going to go forward to about right here. Do a quick uh, maneuver right here to try to make it as big of a target as possible and see if this works. Now I want to be able to see the rocket shoot and hit the van. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of slow-mo on. And then we're just going to hit uh, H to fire. The rocket's off. And we're going to just try to trace its path a little bit. There we go. And that looks like a hit. Yeah. Now they don't explode or anything like that. But they will damage the target usually. That one bounced off pretty good. I don't think I can uh, do much to make that alignment better. Maybe get a little bit closer because I probably rolled backwards some. And make sure it's still straight on looks pretty good so then rocket number two fire whoa well i'm far away gonna bring the camera in okay 16 times slow-mo that'll work that'll work a little bit short hitting down to the bottom but we got another hit that's good and so again we're just gonna get a little bit closer and then fire the rocket there we go so that's what it looks like when you fire it from the truck itself we'll do one more like that fire Nice, that was probably the best hit right there. So four rockets does that much damage to it. That's a pretty decent amount of damage. And the neat thing about the way the rockets hit, I think this thing should still drive pretty good unless the ones that hit low kind of hit the suspension a little bit or the frame, which it actually might have because it feels like it is not driving straight, unfortunately. But that worked great. Well, uh, go ahead and do that one more time, but we're going to get a little bit closer this time so hopefully we can do a little bit more damage. So I'm going to do is I'm going to drive up to this. And then if I slam on the brakes, you notice this thing dips pretty hard. So you can just kind of use that dip right there to angle the rockets up. So if I want to shoot a little bit more downwards, we just put some slow-mo on, accelerate, and then slam on the brakes. Once we dip, fire! Real close impact. And then watch this. As you bounce, you fire the next one. And then as you bounce again, well, actually, we're kind of going backwards. So let me get forward a little bit. 
So same swing though, you just kind of bounce the car. So you go forward. Brakes! Boom! Point blank! Even flipped it over and hit it so hard. So boom! Oh! Didn't quite make it. I didn't bounce that one perfectly, but the other three did, so I'm okay with that. And one interesting thing I noticed is, uh, okay, so you see when we're back here and we shoot off one rocket, it gets to about the van, right? All the time, it's getting to about the van. But, if you shoot them all at once, they go a little bit farther. So watch this, we're gonna go boom, all at the same time. Freeze physics so I can actually track these things a little bit. And you see, oops, kinda have to have this camera angle where it is gonna work. So we'll do something like this. So, you see, rocket's coming at you, and they're going way over the van right there. I think part of it is like once you start shooting the rockets, it angles them upwards more. So they end up flying a lot farther. Like we're shooting it so far, it's gonna hit that truck almost. Are they gonna hit it? Oh, that truck is so lucky. Literally, every rocket just went right around it and it was so close. I can't believe how lucky that truck was. And when you do that, it actually damages the vehicle because it shoots with so much force. You see the bed of the truck's all bent up. You know what might be fun is just to watch the vehicle go through the strain of shooting the rocket. So we're going to do 16 times slow and then just... Oh, look at that. You just see the whole back end bend. It's in the air. That truck is in the air it shot so hard. And then it stopped on a dime. That was cool looking. And then, of course, the rockets went uh, flying somewhere. There they are. Once again, somehow narrowly avoiding hitting that truck. I don't know how it does it. I don't know how it does it. I do want to try to hit a vehicle where you shoot all the rockets at once. Since they fly a little bit farther, I want a little bit bigger of a target though. So we're going to get a T-Series cargo box version. And then we're going to just align it to where I think the rockets will go. And we'll see what happens here. So I think they're going to go to about right here. So I'm just going to line up my truck appropriately. Back it up a little bit. That looks like a good guess to me. Maybe a little bit more forward. Perfect, save the spot, and we're going to go to the rockets and try shooting them off. So for this, I want them to all shoot off as close as possible. So we're going to do 100 times slow more, then we're going to bash all four of the buttons all at the same time. We'll speed it up a little bit so they're shooting off beautifully. That is nice. It's just like a row of attack. And let's see how it is doing to uh, hit the target. So target right there. Missile's coming. Perfect! That was beautiful. That was so beautiful, in fact. I just want to end the video here. Like, I know I said this video might be two parts for the mod. Maybe it'll be five parts. Part one was basically all the vehicles in this area. And then part two is going to be the D-series. Part three is going to be the Roamer. Part four is going to be the T-series. And part five is going to be the H-series. I know that sounds crazy, but there's really enough content in this mod to be able to do that. So I'm gonna. So until next time, this is YBR. I'll see ya.